Hi boys and girls and welcome to Kids on the Living Edge. It is so great to have you here this week. Today I have my friend again, Miss London Chiprita. She's gonna help me say the rules and we're gonna talk about our lesson today. You ready, London? Yeah. Here we go. Love, listen, learn. Excellent job. So what happens when we love? We listen. And when we listen, we? Learn. And when we learn, we? Grow. Who are we growing to be like? Jesus. That's right. God the Father wants to see Jesus in us with the help of the Holy Spirit. Boys and girls, I'm so glad that you're here today. We're gonna talk about Joseph. We've been talking about God's promises. You know, God made some special promises to Joseph. Now we know God's big promise, his huge promise is Jesus, the savior of the whole world. But God made some special promises to Joseph. Now, it took quite a while for those promises to come to pass, but they did. So London had, as she told me, she kind of knows the story a little bit, so I'm gonna ask her a few questions. So, London, what happened with Joseph? Do you remember? He got bullied. Yes, boys and girls, he got bullied. It was unfair what happened to Joseph. Who, who were the bullies? Who hurt him? His brothers. Yeah, his brothers. You know, boys and girls, sometimes we do things because our feelings are hurt, jealous or something like that. We do things to people that can hurt them. But boys and girls, we're gonna go and visit Callie's world. Mm -hmm. Callie is so cool, isn't she, London? Yeah. We're gonna see her vlog and she's gonna tell us a little bit more about the story of Joseph. So, oh, but before we go, we gotta put on our learning gear. Here we go, put on your learning hat, your learning eyes, and your learning ears. And let's visit Callie's world. Hey friends, how are you today? Shout it out. I think I've got to be the best at making slime ever. Do you like playing with slime? I can make slime out of anything. Toilet paper, paper, anything. Even sand. Speaking of sand, I wonder where my friend Dan is today. Hey Dan, what are you up to? Hey Callie, Callie, I found the most interesting creature and I'm so fascinated. What did you find? Callie, I found a turtle. A turtle doesn't care how fast the world is moving around it. It will move whenever it wants to. So it can't go fast? Not at all. Have you ever felt the need to want to go faster or get somewhere faster, but you still have to move slowly? Oh, yes. Whenever it's time for school to end, it feels like it's taking longer than usual. <laughs> exactly. That reminds me of the Bible story of Joseph. It's time for our Bible story. A long time ago, there was a man named Joseph. Joseph was a part of a very large family, so large that he had 11 brothers. Eleven? That's a lot of brothers. Yes, 11 brothers. Out of all the sons that his father had, Joseph was by far the favorite and his father gave him a beautiful coat with lots of colors. The brothers were not happy about that. They became pretty upset and became jealous of Joseph. Oh no! Things became worse for Joseph during this time because he would get special dreams telling the future. For example, he dreamt about 11 stalks of grain bowing to him. And then he also dreamt about the sun, moon, and 11 stars bowing to him as well. What did that mean? Most likely, it was a dream that reminded him of the brothers in his family. 11 stalks of grain, 11 stars. I'm sure Joseph thought of his 11 brothers when he woke up. The dream suggested that Joseph would become someone very important, maybe even more influential than all of his brothers. I hope he didn't tell his brothers his dream. I know, right? But he did tell them, and it made things worse. The brothers ignored all of the dreams and great things that Joseph told them would happen and came up with a plan to make him go away. How did they do that? 
They put Joseph in a hole in the ground, and when some traveling merchants came by, they gave Joseph to them to take far away. Merchants? Merchants are people who sell and buy things. These merchants were on their way to Egypt, and now Joseph was too. That's very sad. It was, but Joseph knew the dreams he was getting came from God. Wonderful dreams that God would make happen one day. He knew he had to wait and trust God, even though he was far away from home now. Isn't that so interesting though, friends? Joseph knew that God promised great things, but it probably felt like they were never going to happen when he got into that bit of trouble with his brothers. But you know what? We're going to find out next time that Joseph's story is nowhere near done. I know that God will keep those promises in the end. Maybe now I can work on being more patient in school when the day is ending. Or not. <laughs> Catch you next time, friends. Bye. Callie out. Wow, did you guys enjoy that visit to Callie's world? You know, today we're learning, we didn't finish the story of Joseph, we just got the first part of what happened to him. Man, what a story. But remember, God's promises might take some time, but God always keeps his promise. Linda, did you, did you enjoy today's story? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool, right? I mean, it wasn't cool what happened to Joseph, but we know the Bible says that God was with him. And boys and girls, he's with you and he's with me as well. I hope you enjoyed today's story. And remember that none of God's good promises will fail. He always keeps his promise. Well, boys and girls. Miss Kathy, can I say something? You yes? sure can. Even though if you get bullied by someone at school, always help them. That's right. We can show mercy. That was from last week, right? We're going to see later how Joseph did the same thing. But you got to come back next week. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you next Bye. time. Bye-bye.